What's up everybody, this is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. And what I'm gonna be doing today is gonna be a gnocchi recipe with pesto and sausage. Got my inspiration on this from another YouTube channel called Vincenzo's Plate. I actually went over there looking for another recipe and tripped over this one, so I made both of them. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing my own twist on this, so it's not gonna be exact to his, but it is gonna have that influence in it. Anyway, very simple to make. Come on in and take a look at what you're gonna need. We're gonna need, I have 32 ounces of this imported gnocchi. I have eight ounces of diced onions, which is something that he did not have in his. I have eight ounces of sliced cremini mushrooms. Uh, I have eight ounces of pesto sauce. This is a homemade pesto sauce. I'm going to put a link to that video in the description and an the card uh, above. I didn't add a lot of garlic to this pesto sauce, so I did uh, cut up or chop up three cloves of garlic. Another change I'm making is I'm going with uh, one bunch of rough chopped spinach. I'm going to need some olive oil. Uh, heavy cream, I'm using about six ounces. I may need a little bit more than that. I don't think we're going to need pepper. Uh, so black pepper is all I'm going to be using unless I taste it and we need it in the end. We're also going to finish it with some grated Parmesan, Asiago Romano. If you can go get the fresh stuff, use the fresh stuff. I just don't use it enough to uh, go and buy something like that. Anyway, another ingredient that we're going to need is I have some pork sausage. He used Italian sausage in his. I'm just using regular pork sausage in this and I just made little tiny meatballs. His meatballs are actually even a little bit smaller than these. So that's what you're going to need. Let's get cooking. Step, we're going to hit this pan with some olive oil, about three tablespoons. Now we're going to add our mini meatballs. I'm going to go ahead and put my mushrooms and onions in here as well. I'm not going to stir it up until the meatballs have kind of firmed up a little bit. So this is going to go about five minutes. We've gone about five minutes on this. And what I was trying to do was get the meatballs to firm up a little bit before I started stirring. Uh, so we're kind of at that point now. I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. And I'm going to sweat this down. I'm going to let it go about another five minutes. The onions look like they're getting cooked down pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and add our pesto sauce now. And what we're going to want to do is cook this until it's, the pesto sauce starts getting kind of thick. That should only be a couple minutes. That's right about where I want it. We're about three minutes in. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my spinach. And my heat right now is on about medium low. If you have a lid that you can put on, go ahead and put that lid on just so we can sweat the spinach down. When it's done sweating down, we're going to finish this up. Now that our spinach is kind of wilted down, I'm going to go ahead and add our heavy cream and a little bit of this pepper. I think we're going to be fine without the salt. And now I'm just going to stir it in, let it simmer uncovered for a little while, let this sauce come together and then we'll get these uh, gnocchi in the pot. So really to make this gnocchi all you need to do is get a little bit of salted water. This should only take a couple minutes and what I did was a lot of times these are going to be kind of vacuum sealed, so I made sure they were broke up. Now we're just going to drop them into the water. So when your gnocchi's done is when it floats to the top, so I'm going to go ahead and get this strained out and into our dish. All right, this should be a wrap. Let's go ahead and drain this off, get it in. Stir this in. I'm going to wait for my wife to get home. I'm going to see if she wants to take part in this taste test because I think she's going to find this to be remarkable. So here we go, the finished product. Here's what we look like in the skillet. 
and here's what we look like plated up I'm gonna go ahead and get my wife maybe my son and go ahead and do a taste test on this right, so it's time for this taste test this stuff tastes so good that I had to bring up the whole crew to get in on this taste test go ahead and get a taste smells good mm -hmm. Stop eating and how's it taste? It's good. I kept eating it. The sauce is good. The pasta is well cooked. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this is the bomb. Vincenzo, thanks for the idea. Also, before I get out of here, I want to give a shout out to Elton's Barbecue Pit in Norway. Run by his channel and take a look at him. I'm going to put a link to his channel in the iCard above and the description below. Anyway, thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Ooh, yeah, this is definitely good. Yeah, this is good.